December is going to be an exciting month for Wayfinder. The team for the past week has been previewing updates coming in a massive patch for the game later this month, and I've collected everything they've shown so far in this quick video. Once we get closer to the release, I plan on covering the rest of the previews in another video, and once the update drops, I plan on having a before and after comparison video for some of the biggest changes. So if you want to know what's so great about this update, feel free to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all things Wayfinder. For now though, let us check out these eight changes they've shown us so far. For this first update, you can see we're going to be getting fully customizable weapon dies and two new Wayfinder die slots, meaning you can customize your characters and weapons even more than before. These look great from the previews they've shown us so far, like seeing Titan's Bane with blue lava or seeing Hot Kairos with the new VFX on his flaming head. These all look really great with different colors and effects. So I'm really looking forward to testing all this out and making my Wayfinder Finders look even cooler. For patch preview number two, they're going to be increasing the attack speed of swords and shields and scythes. They're also going to be changing parry mechanics and making weapon abilities now scale 50-50 with your ability and weapon power stats. I think this could be an overall positive change. We're just going to have to see how it feels in game once the patch drops. Like I said, I'm going to be doing that before and after comparison video later on once the patch hits. I think this could be good though because I think ranged weapons are pretty dominant in the DPS realms in the game right now. So I think this could be a positive step in the direction for making these swords and shields and size feeling more potent in the game. So we'll just have to see how it feels. Speaking of ranged weapons for patch Patch preview number three, they're making adjustments to all of the ranged weapons to differentiate them more. For this preview, they just kind of gave us this star kind of stat looking sheet here. So you don't really know the full effects of this. Again, this will be more clear. I think once this patch itself comes out and we can get our hands on each individual weapon and see how they feel. So we'll just have to wait for that. I'm not going to speculate too much on this, I'd rather just get my hands on it and show you guys once the patch is out. So moving on to patch preview number four. Some materials are difficult to farm, so we are standardizing some drops across lost zones and guaranteeing rewards from the trickster. So that's good to hear. If you don't know, the trickster is one of the random events you can get when you're running lost zones in the game, which are these, which are the randomized dungeons. Basically, you need trickster coins to craft certain things in the game, mainly the wayfinders themselves. So those are a pretty hot commodity item, and they're pretty tough to come by sometimes. So I think this is a good change overall. Same with the various materials. I'm thinking they're thinking of rare things like archaic bones, which were pretty hard to come by early on. In the the game because they also come from one very specific event that you can only find in the mine uh, areas in the game. So I think this is going to allow it so those can drop more frequently in that zone in particular across all of them. So I think that's a good change and it'll be a great quality of life update that the game needs. Next up to patch preview number five, they're revamping the sell window at vendors, making it so now you can sell multiple items alongside seeing which of the accessories have certain accessory slots because those are randomized in the game. This is definitely a great quality of life feature instead of having to individually sell items at certain vendors. This will be a great change. And the UI you can see in the, in the preview video is updated and looks much nicer as well. So that's always appreciated. I'm hoping more multi-sell or multi-purchasing options will be in the game but we'll just have to wait and see when this patch drops. For patch preview number six, the XP caches you have been amassing here in early access are finally to be usable in game. There are XP caches for wayfinders and XP caches for weapons. These have been dropping from lost zones pretty regularly, so you probably have amassed a ton of them if you played a decent amount during early access. These will be used to level up wayfinders and weapons, but it sounds like that it'll still be more geared towards you'll want to play the game and play through stuff to get more experience those things won't give as much experience as just actually playing the game. This seems more like, hey, I'm pretty close to this le next level. Let me just drop a couple of these and get that little bump. Or I'm almost all the way to level 30 with this one. And I just finish this off with these caches. So it seems it could still be geared towards playing the game rather than using these. But overall, I think this will be a nice little extra addition for when you need it added to the game. And, and if you're like myself, who's playing a lot in early access, you probably have a ton of these. So you probably can get a pretty good use out of the amount you have right now. Patch preview number eight brings some jolly vibes to Highlands and Skylight, as now it's going to be more of a wintry, snowy theme. This is, you probably could have seen this in some of the other patch preview little videos they put out that I've put here in the video. And 
this looks this looks wonderful. I love this kind of stuff. There is going to be some kind of winter event that he's also teased. They're not giving us too many details about that, but it sounds like there will be like a special bender in, in I guess, Skylight that we can interact with and get like cosmetics and things like that during this event. So that's going to be pretty cool. They're also making some audio feedback adjustments when you do things like hearing critical hits or doing parries. So it'll be interesting to hear those kind of updates in the game once they drop in this patch. I'll definitely uh, cover some of that stuff in the before and after patch preview video that'll be coming later on the channel. Patch preview number eight is for Senja. She's gonna be getting a massive rework in this December patch. She's gonna get increased mobility, increased durability and offensive capabilities. She's also getting an entirely new ultimate ability. So you can see here, community manager Snarf did some quick uh, tabs around some of the abilities here, but I got the power of video editing to freeze frame some of this stuff and show it to you guys. This is her new super ability. It's called Thunderous Glory. Senja riles up the crowd, then flashes the thumbs down at her enemies Shenja and nearby allies gained 20% bonus weapon power and abilities for 20 seconds. During this duration, Shenja's weapon attacks cause chain lightning to arc between her enemies, dealing bonus ability damage. So this is going to be, I think, a pretty a pretty strong ability, definitely much more powerful than her other one, which was definitely like just like a big single target lightning bolt fist punch attack, which was pretty okay. But I think this sounds way more interesting. I definitely want to see it in action and we'll definitely have to see more of that soon. But for now, you may have noticed the keen eyes out there that there are some other little tidbits and teases in the form of new weapons and or weapon skins and also some other fun things like that. So I'm going to go through the footage here real quick. So first off, you may have already seen in the in the Senja video we just saw that she has a brand new weapon. She's holding a very new two handed sword. You can see here I paused it and freeze frame on this in the footage here. We can see some of the updates to the UI they're making, which look really nice. You can also see this we weapon is called the Wind Mother's Fang. So it is a new weapon and not a skin. You can also see earlier in the footage when they were swimming around menus that there is the, you can see the weapon ability as well. Here it is, it's called Transcendence. It'll let you execute a swift three to five hit combo and that is determined by the amount of momentum you consume and inflicting substantial damage. Simultaneously temporary, allowing the Wayfinder to exceed the heat of battle multiplier cap of 300%. So that sounds pretty interesting. It seems to be a big heavy hitter for this two-handed weapon coming in. So I'm curious how we're going to be getting that. I must mean we'll be getting some new boss hunts potentially in the game as well with this patch that is pretty exciting that we're going to be seeing a new weapon here. Alongside that, Snarf, and the community manager, also teased this here. You can see this is a better look at that new Senja skin that's coming to the game. It looks really clean. I really like it. But also, you can see on her back a new two-handed scythe that looks pretty badass. It's like a dragon's head with like a flaming scythe head. It's really cool. We don't know if this is a new weapon or a skin yet. We ha we don't know have as much details as that previous one, but it still looks really rad. I'm really looking forward to it. This last preview here is the Bastion Sword and Shield. This is Wingrave's signature weapon. It looks like it might be finally coming to the game now that we can see it here with this new skin as well for Wingrave that looks really cool. Has like bunny ears almost looking kind of Wingrave skin. Very interesting look. But you can see Bastion is has some weapon dyes on it to make it look similar to the look that is going on. Snarf teased that as well in the Discord. Looks really good. I'm hoping it does come to the game because it again it is Wingrave's signature weapon and I think it would be good to have all of the characters' signature weapons in the game to go chase for. So it's pretty exciting if we're getting at least these three new weapons that means some more hunts and boss fights will be coming to the game as well so that'll be pretty cool to look forward to but that's everything we have so far just kidding literally as i'm recording and editing this video they put out the next patch preview of course i knew it was going to happen but i just want to throw it in here because i might as well they have confirmed all these weapons we've been getting sneaked uh in the discord are coming with this patch there are five brand new weapons and also some cosmetics that you'll be able to earn for weapons in the helper coin stores so that's pretty awesome earnable in-game cosmetics these won't be for rune silver they will be earnable if you go into the helper queue and get some helper coins and these five new weapons. They didn't specify if these will be gotten through new hunts or how they'll be obtained yet, but we are getting these five new weapons and confirming Bastion, Wingrave signature weapon is coming. The two-handed sword that was teased is coming and all of these other stuff like a scythe and these daggers and uh, some kind of new gun. So that's pretty cool, guys. A lot of stuff is coming here in this patch and I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks again for watching this video. I'll be covering other updates soon in the future as well as when the patch drops. I'll be making plenty of content about wherever we're getting these weapons from. So look forward to that. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.